What do these three books have in common? Any guesses? They are three of the most commonly challenged and banned books in the United States. It's a trend you've no doubt read about, the growing list of books banned in our nation's classrooms and libraries. The new culture war raging across America is over books, AKA movies without the cool sound effects. Since last summer, parents, school boards, and thirsty political groups have pulled off over 1,500 book bans in schools across the U.S. Caveats to free speech in schools that this ruling carved out, specifically where books are vulgar or not right for the curriculum, have been used liberally by those trying to ban books in our schools. And this is what I will do to the growing books when I become Secretary of State. Let's go. Mm, welcome to the main event. Anything discussing the human body, sexuality, or gender could be deemed vulgar or not age appropriate by some. Identities are not obscenities. Stories are not pornography. Libraries have always decided which books are in and which books are not in. Like you can't have a Playboy in the school library. Are you sure about that? Books like Gender Queer, an intensely polarizing exploration of gender identity at the center of the book battles. It is a graphic novel, so certainly it's more in your face, but it's not intended to titillate. It's intended to provide a window onto one person's experience, not knowing their gender identity and needing to explore that talks about in fourth grade at a church youth group, out in the bushes behind the parsonage. I touched Doug Goebel's and he touched mine. In fact, there were even some mouths involved. She was mad that this book references self-pleasure and oral sex. Like what? That's the kind of person who will call you a snowflake for having even slightly liberal views. My boyfriend really wants to do a boy with his pants down. You can see visually here. What the fuck? Mr. Speaker, I would ask that the house brace themselves for the following words from one such book called Eleanor Park, and I quote, I know you're a slut, you smell like cum, nothing but a bitch in heat. M mem member. End quote. Member, please do not use that kind of language. What the hell is even that? People like Senator Cruz is trying to distract from the real issue or even to demonize materials and books that are actually good for children, helpful for children. Some people are arguing that these books are not obscene, uh, that they have positive messaging about body image and how to uh, recognize an abusive relationships. Book banners, a foot in the door for controlling the narrative and exercising power over schools and all the librarians, teachers, and students in them. That's, that's you! That's you! That is you! That is you! What the fuck? Um, that's what the public library is here for. Uh, it is not up to the government to decide what people have access to, nor is it up to other citizens. Nor is it up to other citizens. Um, that is government censorship and overreach.